Welcome back. Uh, this time I need to take out the gargoyle. I'm gonna hit up this uh, blacksmith down here, see if I can upgrade any weapons, see what I can do before I go and try to do that, because that's just gonna end well, ever so wonderfully for me. slightly better. You know what? I won't be seeing you there. Be careful. Even if according to the thing it says that my club is better than the short long sword, I think I'm gonna use the long sword. Yeah. Well uh, you need any So I'm going to upgrade this, get this thing going. Uh, I'm already kind of a little bit annoyed right now, so this is going to be really fun, because I've been playing uh, Supreme Commander 2 today, and it's just been one of those days where the game wanted to cheat, and I was just kind of stuck trying to go, Supreme Commander, why? Why you do things the way you do? Go get your... So this is going to be one of those fun let's plays where I'm kind of like already really annoyed and I'm playing a game that's probably going to like look to piss me off even more. Let me go hang out with Mr. Onion over here. Uh, this guy... You actually meet his daughter and the only way you'll ever know is the voice. Hmm. And it's only hmm. not that much different. Hmm. Mm. Forgive me. I was obs I am Zeke of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've or a gate, I should say. No matter how long I wait, and oh, have I waited? So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty much all he does. Is he sits around and he's always like, "Oh, it seems like I'm just in this terrible predicament." Oh well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait. And he always waits forever. I don't know why. Dude has patience of a saint or no life whatsoever. I'm not sure which. Frankly, I would go crazy sitting there. Because eventually you always wind up doing whatever the heck it was that he didn't want to do. And then he's always like, oh, I'm so grateful. Here's some stuff. Except for when you open that gate, because he's just kind of like, Oh, so you were the one that opened the gate. Like, this is a freaking mystery as to who opened the gate. It's like, well, obviously the guy who looked like he was going to do something did something, guy. Come on. So, game is going to be a jerk. That's cool. Because I can't run into that chapel, because there's a black knight waiting for me, and I really don't want to run into him right now. One. There we go. And there's two. And then this jerk off is going to be three. So. Up yours. Okay. Uh, I could either go into the chapel and then get my ass kicked, or I can go the way that I didn't go last time because I was just not in the mood to deal with this area. But we're going to see how well this works. So I'm going to try to sneak up on this guy, you know, be all ninja in metal armor. Medieval ninja, I don't know. And that worked for once. Wow. First time that's ever worked in this game. I mean, for me, I usually, like, fuck it up. Carry that guy, because I really like carrying spearmen. They're really obvious about what they're doing. Except for when they're black knights for some reason, because I can't seem to stop them. This bloke who always closes this gate on you. 
Come on. Are you really just gonna dance around the staircase here all day? Because I could care less. And basement key, which is obviously gonna lead to a basement somewhere. I don't remember where, but I'm pretty sure when I get there I'll be like, oh yeah, so that's where that key goes. Because I just don't want to look it up. I'd rather experience things first person than do all that crap. Alright, so we have this guy. Who thinks he's so cool. In his awesome ass armor. He's gonna dance around me. And then he's gonna stab him in the ass. I would parry him normally. But I really don't want to take that chance that he's gonna actually get through my defense. Because it's happened. And it's not fun when it happens. Okay, I thought I heard somebody. Could have sworn I remember some jerk off being behind one of these doors. Yeah, there he is. You're trying to parry me. I'm not gonna fall for that. Go for that the first time you did it. Never again. Because apparently I'm having issues trying to parry today. Yeah, shit will not be had, guy. Ping. Alright, now time for the fun fight. And by fun, I mean totally not fun at all, because there's some jerk-off right above me who's got some sort of spell thing or something. I forget what, but he's going to be shooting at me. And it's... Yeah, there it goes. See? You hear that? That that ting? That chewing thing? Yeah, that's, that's the guy trying to cast spells at me. He thinks he's so cool. He's like, dude, I could cast spells. I'm a wizard. And I'm like, I don't care if you're a wizard. I'm going to go fight your buddy down here where you aren't. Seriously, I can't backstab this guy? Great. Okay, let's try to lure him out. We're gonna be here a while. Oh, that's cool. They kept that from the demon souls. Ooh, ooh I'm not gonna fall for that. No, last guy did that to me and he broke my shield. Fuck you. Oh no! Okay, fine. Cheat. Whatever. I don't fuck with you. Oh, you rat bastard. Need to get this guy out of there.
Oh, you fuck you! Piece of shit ass cock sucking little fucktard. That's not good. You need to do a heavy swing so your defenses are down. Well, at least I won't have to fight his ass ever again, so I'm happy. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to go restore my flasks. Yeah. Because this next part's not going to be easy. Uh, the next part is one of my least favorite parts in this game. There is a lot of those, actually, but this one, this one holds a special place in my FU Dark Souls category. Because there's an enemy that will just continue to spawn little shits with daggers until either you die or, you know, you kill him. And it's really fun because, let me tell you, nothing, nothing more fun than the guy who summons 20 dudes and just sits back and just watches as they charge you endlessly. When I first came through here, in fact, he charged me with like 500 of those guys. I killed him, thankfully. And then all of his little shits killed me. So that was that was my story of the day on the FU Dark Souls. But because I had killed him, I didn't have to deal with it again. So I was happy. Until, of course, right now, where now I remember that I have to deal with him again, and I get really sad. Because I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot an arrow. Stabbed in the ass. Kicked off my sword. Die terribly. And another hollow soldier helm, because that's what I need. Now there's a little trick here you can do. It doesn't involve the mage guy. After you kill him, you can actually sneak up behind that guy over there. And you can stab him in the back. Only reason I didn't stop to actually show you the guy is because I don't have time and there's a mage kind of about to shoot at me with spells and be a jerk off mage. Yeah, this guy, this guy's one of those fuck yous in the game too. I forgot about him. I just remembered that he was around because he likes to be around. Fuck you. None of that healing bullshit. Oh, hey, I got a humanity off that. Awesome. Uh, there was an easier way to do this guy in. And I think it involved shooting? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this the cheap way, cause fuck this guy. I'm not running in there to get shot by your 500 buddies, okay? Don't know why the game just suddenly lost the lock on him. I think I knocked him back too far. There we go. No more Mr. Nice Knight person, whatever the hell I am. Depraved, deprived, depraved, whatever. Not today, not today.
that's just all I have to say to that. Like, Fuck you, game. I bet they didn't even know that you could shoot that guy through the window there. But they didn't even think about that, or else they would have stuck an invisible wall there. They've done that so many times to me. I've been, like, kicking something's butt, and all of a sudden it's like, Oh, that area, you just hit the little invisible wall that was put there in case somebody tried to shoot through this window. And I'm like, oh. Oh, no. Haha, -ha, you didn't follow it up. I would have, but that's just me. I really Something that not many people know is that when those guys go to parry you, you can actually do a heavy attack and just hit them. It's one of the best ways to get through their defense because they're too stupid to actually parry it properly. Now, this guy. If this is the guy I think it is. Yes. This guy. Then I am in as you can see. I hate this guy. But I'm gonna let him out. Because he gives me stuff. Thank you. I I, I truly You aren't really grateful, just just admit. Yes, very so. I've just been free. You're gonna stab the freaking firekeeper. And then you're gonna be like, er, I am so cool. I'm, I'm gonna have to kill you later. Oh yeah, that's spoilers, that guy's evil. If you let him live though, your the firekeeper will come back after you get to a certain point and defeat him. And once you get the firekeeper back, the firekeeper will have her voice. So you're like, yay. If you didn't want to wait for that, you can just decide to kill him now. And then you won't have to deal with it. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna let him kill my firekeeper because I like taking that route. Gives me a bunch of stuff. Really not looking forward to fighting the gargoyles, to be honest, because I am not fantastic at fighting gargoyles. No, when I when I did it, I had to do like three guys and a hope and a prayer, and it was not fun. And that's because the gargoyles like to summon their little friends, and then they all have a party, and unfortunately that party involves punching me in the face with several several hurting things. So, we're going to summon Night Solaire. And we're going to hope to God that this works. Because that's all I can do, because I'm in offline mode. This is the choice I have made. Hi, Night Solaire. Buddy old pal. my life, everything in it, but that's okay. <sighs> um, you can get a weapon off of killing their tail first, you get a gargoyle or something like that. I forget what it is. It's okay. I Some people like it. I don't care for it. Um, mostly because it's deceptive in how much range it actually has. Trying to target the tail, the face. without worrying too much. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, the other one's the one I need to go. Okay. Okay, well, he's dead. Thank you, Solaire. You're awesome. Best friend ever. There he goes. Oh, uh, he's hiding his health. That was deceptive. You breathe fire at that, bitch. Yeah. Fucked your day, motherfucker. Alright. Now, let me get to the... Well, I'm surprised I survived. I'm kind of scared now. This game is never that nice. Okay, let me get to the... Where the hell is the... Trying thing? See, I didn't watch anybody else play this, so I'm just kind of like... Going through instinct right now, trying to remember where shit is. All the way up to the top of the bell tower. Oh no. Oh, I think I remember what's after this. Oh man. My life's gonna suck. I hate the goddamn swamp, because I think that's where I have to go after this. Yay! Ding! On. The gargoyle's dead, the gargoyle's dead, the evil gargoyle. I don't know. I'm just making up songs as I wait for this thing. Oh, wait, I can just skip it. <laughs> okay. Now, on my way down, there should be some guy standing on the platform somewhere. I don't remember where he is exactly. I just know he's around here. I remember one time, first time I went through here, I was just walking down that ladder. I was just minding my own business, you know, being an adventurer, getting my ass kicked. And, uh, along my way down, I accidentally held backwards just a little too long. But of course, this game, this game was like, I see that you held backwards for a total of exactly, like, half a second. Here, let me just kill you for it. And I was like, seriously, Dark Souls? I was so angry. I walked off a cliff. that guy? There's some guy who's supposed to meet me here. Where is he? Well, I can't remember. Nope, oh, there he is. This guy's kind of weird looking, but uh, he's alright. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. Thou appearest to lack faith. Yet cometh out to confess. Or he, uh, he does stuff. Nothing I can do, but, you know, he'll, he'll make it so that way you can, um, yeah, you can, if somebody invades you, you can basically use that, and then you put a bounty on their head, and then they can use the Book of the Guilty, which I just accidentally skipped over, to see who's indicted, and people can actually char, come after him. So if you just want to be a spiteful person and say, like, you guy who killed me, you could do that. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do anything for me. You're not welcome. It is only sure. <laughs> You're weird. Kind of creep me out, guy. There is a fire shrine somewhere around here. I know there is. Where is my fire shrine? No, there's one around here. Room is crazy. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to remember where it is. I remember now. I have to go down the elevators to get to the Firelink Shrine, which is in the center area. I don't think I'm going to find anything here. I don't think anything spawns after you kill the gargoyles. I mean, they'll, they'll spawn if you reset the area, of course. But, I mean, I don't think I'm about to get backstabbed. I don't think this game's that much of an asshole. What the? How did he... I killed you over there. What are you doing over here? 
apparently after death, mages can teleport. All right, and then die somewhere else, because that's cool. Okay, once you unlock this area, you can actually go back to the prison, but uh, I'm not really gonna show you that, because that's just gonna be death right now, and I need to get to the Firelink Shrine as I'm kind of reaching my limit. However, next time, I can do a small video and show you all how to get to the prison. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, next time I can just do a small little segment and I'll show you how to get to the prison, but I don't think I'm gonna make it like an actual segment, because I am nowhere near ready for that fight. Uh, in case you're wondering, there's a fight in there with, uh, uh, one of those demons that I fought in the beginning, except it's a really jerk-off fight. It's way harder than it was before, but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be entertaining. I am so not looking forward to it, but hey, who knows? I might actually do miraculous. Weirder things have happened. This is Dark Souls. Alright, well, there's my leveling. I'm gonna put all into endurance so I can equip my armor without being slowed as much as I am. Because I'm kind of noticing I'm not moving as much. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, you know all the jazz. Feel free to comment on anything you would like to see, so that way we can be sure to do it. If you have anything else uh, to add to our challenges, feel free. And once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.